Hey everybody, this is Delta for Paw Productions. Going to do a little review of a uh, lumbar pack here. Um, apologize for the angles and stuff. I'm kind of in a confined space today. Um, the, in front is the Kelty John. Um, it's a uh, lumbar pack that's got a waist belt and some other stuff. We'll go over a bunch of it. While well, I got it right here, along the bottom here, there's webbing so you can attach other items, pouches, straps, you know, other pieces of your kit. In front, it's got a small vented mesh pouch area with a compression strap on it which snaps on and off. Inside here is a little pouch, like a little admin pouch like some of the Kelty packs have. It's got a little meshed uh, zippered area. Another pouch here, empty here. Then it's got a little lanyard with a little clip on it. Inside the main, of course, there's a carry handle on top. Inside the main compartment, it's pretty big or decent sized. It's got a small pouch right here in the front of it that is fleece lined for like your sunglasses, your cameras, whatever. And it's got one elastic re uh, pouch in the back. Uh, and then that's about it. The rest of it's pretty much op open. As you can see, hopefully you can see in there. Like I said, I apologize for any of the angles. Uh, what's nice about this lumbar pack com compared to other lumbar packs is you can see it's empty and it's keeping stay staying rigid. There's a composite uh, frame actually in here, arched composite pole in there, stay that actually helps maintain its uh, rigidity. On the sides of it, uh, there's attachment points for a adjustable shoulder strap, which I probably should take out. It uh, just clips on and off. D-rings there, and the same location as well as you have for your hip belt. You actually have where your load lifters are. You have two compression straps and then two mesh pockets which are big enough to hold a uh, liter Nalgene bottles. The hip pad or hip belt is stowable inside. It's pretty lightweight. There's very little padding. It's mostly mesh. This is padded right here for on your back, and there's Velcro on the inside, so when you uh, stow this in here, as you can see right here, it'll connect to this, and actually the hip pad will stay flushed in here. Uh, the reason why I picked this uh, lumbar pack up is because most lumbar packs, one, this one was we got really, really cheap. It was like sub, sub $15. Uh, the other part is the colors. You know, they are semi-subdued colors, you know, gray and like a coyote brown more or less. It also has the suspension in it, which all the other lumbar type fanny pack CVs in the back never had that. When you get any type of load, you know, it kind of just starts flopping around and doesn't hold up very well. It also has the standard load lifters on the hip belt, which most of the backpacking rucks have now so it's able to keep it close to your body so it's again not sagging and constantly pulling back on you um, also we went with this style pack for shorter day hikes uh, I usually use like a, um, it's in one of the other movies I use a, a camelback mule as my day hike pack uh, my wife on the other hand doesn't really uh, has a sh shoulder injury and couldn't use a uh, backpack for a bit so we went with this and she's probably got just about 30 miles hiked with this right now. Uh, she's not too keen with it when we get it loaded up. I'm kind of, especially during the hotter months, I kind of like want everybody to have more than enough water. So she'll usually carry like two Nalgene bottles. So two liters of water right there. And then um, sometimes like the little platypus that I've showed before, this one right here. So she's got another extra half liter inside. You know, plus her other stuff, you know, food, you know, uh, we carry still nylon tarps. So we're pretty much a basic, like, get home bag kit, more or less, when we go day hiking. Um, you know, be prepared, all that Boy Scout goody goody stuff, you know, after all, we are survivalists. So, she, uh, she's she been okay with it when it's been on some of our lighter lighter load days, but when she's got roughly about 10 to 12 pounds in it, she starts saying that it, it doesn't ride well on her and stuff. And, um, I've had yet to use it. I'll probably end up using it a lot this summer just to uh, put it through the ringer on my end, my end of things. Um, like I said, overall, for the for the money, I, I couldn't uh, pass it up. 
Also, the other good thing about since everything is stowable and because of how it looks, you know, it can be used as like a day bag around town for some people that want to have like a discreet bag that doesn't scream tactical or, you know, survivalist or whatever you want to call it, uh, you know. It's got the little shoulder strap there, it goes across, you know, it's got the hip belt that stows away, you know, you can keep, you know, your tablet and some other stuff in here, your water bottles, and keep it at work, and nobody would be none the different. You'd be like, oh, man, nice Kelty uh, lumbar pack, and you're like, yeah, Joe, thanks a lot, you know, you know, while he's sitting there with his tie-dye shirt on, you know, talking about his Gregory pack, or, you know, his North Face fleece that he, you know, looks like, you know, a dick sporting goods blew up on him out of the cat on a you know on, on a good day and he's you know stylish and wants to talk to you about your stylish new kelty thing nonetheless you're like haha but nonetheless you didn't realize that i had my conceal in there you know so anyway i'm sorry for trying to be smart and joking but you know it is it is a decent it is built just like all the other kelty products it's got you know well-made materials and like i said so far my wife's got about 30 miles hiked on it i've only probably only got about two two to four miles on it um I, like I said, I mostly bought it because I'm used to using lumbar packs that just plain old sucked. And this one, I have higher expectations for. Um, the one big key thing is not to overload it like anything else. So, if you can find this one, uh, and you can find it cheap, I, I would go with it. They make another one that's a little bit bigger. I can't remember the name of it, but it's almost the exact same colors, but it doesn't have some of the um, accessories, uh, you know, the, and options that this one has. But it does also doesn't have this 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 frame in the back, you know. And like I said, I mean, I'm pushing down on it, and I can't get it to go to go down. And it does help a lot. Um, so, you know, it is another option out there. So it's a little bit more discreet than some of the other, um, you know, tactical brand or mil mil military style the, you know, uh, fanny packs and lumbar packs and sling packs that uh, that, that are out on the market these days. Um, Plus, it's from a well-named, well-named uh, manufacturer and company. Like I said, if you can find it for under, uh, for, for, for under the twenty bucks, pick it up. So, well, I'm Delta. Hopefully, it's helped you. It's a little quick review. I don't go really too into depth. All I know is we've put thirty miles on it. She likes it to the extent to where, you know, until it gets overloaded, and I plan on abusing it this summer. So, pick one up if you can find it. Find it cheap. Thanks for viewing.